Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Today is a really special episode and not because of the episode that we're doing, because we are, well, regular building in Planet Zoo. We are building a habitat for the uh, proboscis monkey today, but that's not a special thing. The special thing today is that it's the 9th of April. And that means that my YouTube channel is officially one year old, which I am very, very happy with. I passed the one year mark. I mean, that's quite a big thing for me because usually I'm not so persistent with things. So today it was exactly one year ago that I broke my foot, was in quarantine and had nothing to do. And I decided, hey, why not start a YouTube channel? So there I was, was like, you know, what am I going to do? What games do I enjoy? And back in those days, like a year ago, um, I couldn't play Planet Zoo yet because my computer wasn't good enough. I did have the game though, just couldn't run it, but I did have it. <laughs> so I played The Sims. Um, at the end of this video, I will link my very first YouTube video. Um, bear in mind, it is a bit cringeworthy because I wasn't really sure how to do a voiceover. So I wrote down the entire voiceover and I, I read it up. I'm just like, you know, like you're reading a book, only then a bit worse. But you know, it, it was exactly one year ago when I had zero subscribers and I was playing The Sims nonstop. Like really, really non-stop. And now we're a year far further and I have 161 subscribers, which, you know, it might not sound like a lot if you compare it to like the big YouTubers and, you know, like uh, Palsley or James Turner or Lil Simsy, you know, all those people, or even like uh, Rudy or the lay designer. Yeah, well, compared to them, it's not a lot. But for me, it is quite a lot because that means there are 161 people that are watching my channel. And of those 160 ones, I have like for my um, building, for my red tail zoo, I have an average of around to 60, 70 people that are actually watching, which personally I feel that's really good. And then for my zoo tours, I have an average of about 180 people, which again, I'm really happy to, I'm really, really happy. But you know, if you're one of those uh, 180 people and you don't watch my regular videos, why not? I mean, they're fun. Come join me, it's fun. Even though while I say this, I realize that um, they can't actually hear this because they're probably not watching this. Oh well. Anyways, so today is exactly the one year anniversary for my, um, you know, YouTube channel. And I was thinking maybe I should do something, you know, special. What can I do? What should I do? And I had absolutely no idea. So I just decided to build, you know, maybe um, I was thinking though, like I could do like a 24 hour stream on Twitch, that, that would be like really fun. But at the moment, um, I don't really have the facilities to do so because um, I live with other people and I am very loud when I stream. Hence the reason why I don't stream at the moment because I'm really, really, really loud because I have a headset that uh, is noise canceling so I don't hear myself. And I am always loud. I mean, you, I have to lower the volume of the voiceovers because otherwise I would you know, break your eardrums, which is, well, I'm not saying that it has happened before. But there are people that said like, wow, you're really loud. Please talk quieter. I'm like, no, I can't because I'm a really enthusiastic person. And when I don't talk loud anymore, um, I'm basically no longer enthused. So yeah, I'm not going to talk any, any like, quieter. I'm just going to talk loud because that's the kind of person I am. Anyway, so that's why I can't stream at the moment. But as you may or may not know, probably you do know because I talk about it quite a lot. Oops. I am moving. So once I moved, which will be um, the first week of June, I will be moving and then I have to settle in, you know, and get acquainted to the home and chill out a bit. So probably in July, I could do a 24 hour stream and then we're just going to celebrate with my YouTube channel is a year and a half. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, but I would really like to do that. I would like to stream more anyways. Um, so, you know, if you're into that and not forcing you to stay for the full, you know, 24 hours, that'd be a bit weird and a bit rude as well because you can't force people. And maybe you have some other ideas like, well, you know, actually, um, we would like to see a house tour. I could do that or uh, like a house tour of my future home because right now I have a room of eight square meters and it's very tiny and it's can't even walk around in it because it's filled with piles of books and my computer, of course. <laughs> and a bed and a dresser and that's about it so oh and a couple of hundreds of comic books oh, i'm such a nerd but i love it oh i'm a geek actually i should say anyway so if you have any ideas for you know a one year anniversary 
do let me know in the comments down below. I have some ideas of myself, but maybe you guys have like better ideas or maybe you're like, oh, you know what? A 24 hour uh, Twitch stream. That sounds fun. Or maybe I could even do it on YouTube. I'm not quite sure how to stream on YouTube, but I'm sure I can work that out. I think there's like a button for it. Like one year later, I still don't know a lot about YouTube. That that could be very bad. <laughs> That's probably wow. Well, that was not. I won't say that's probably why my video doesn't reach a lot of people, but it actually does. I mean, like a lot of my videos, they quite have a lot of good numbers, if I'm honest. Anyways, I mean, like you're here watching this as one of those 161 people, and if you're not of one of those 161 people, subscribe and be one of the 162 or 163 or how much we're on there. Um, you know, I really want to take the time and thank you guys because it really does mean a lot to me and I've always said like oh I don't want to be a great big youtuber kind of may have liked that um or like something like it's a big dream of mine to be um like a big youtuber but it would be nice to have like a big channel I imagine like I've I love making content I love content creating I love being creative I actually love editing videos that's why I actually started this YouTube channel like I said I had I broke my foot and I was bored and in quarantine um, but also I wanted to learn a new skill I was like well you know what can I do it's not like I can go exercising now or something like that so um, I decided you know what I should do I should learn how to edit videos because that's probably very handy and then I edited my first video. I was like, "Yeah, what am I going to do? What am I going to do to this? I'll just put it on YouTube and I see if the people like it. And people actually kind of liked it, so that's that's quite nice to hear. Maybe I should do a throwback to The Sims. Who knows? Maybe I could do that next week. Next week we'll do a throwback to The Sims. Yeah, probably not a lot of people will watch that, but that's okay. Uh, just fun for myself. Ooh, I should make my future home in The Sims. Anyways, I'm going off off topic. I was working on thanking you guys. Like I said, like a year ago, I never could have imagined this. Like I would have this um, average sized YouTube channel with 161 subscribers. Like honestly, from the grounds of my heart, thank you guys so much. Now, thank you for all the subscriptions. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the likes. I really so appreciate it. And I can't say this enough. And I really, I don't think I can even explain to you guys how much I appreciate this because this is something that I never actually would have imagined and these are like I don't want to sound pedantic but I mean like they're only uh, 161 subscribers but each and every one of you is like a human being that is watching my channel and sometimes that's really weird for me to comprehend like imagine I can't just imagine people you know getting a notification on their phone and being like oh Nim just uploaded a video Let's check it out. Let's see what she's actually uploaded. Let's see, let's see what she's doing. And I'm just like, huh, okay. I never really imagined that. And it, it is quite weird. And obviously this channel really uh, hit it off when I started doing Planet Zoo. Hence the reason why I do uh, mostly or like only Planet Zoo at the moment. Um, I am wanting to go to some other games. I really wanted to get the alpha key for Prehistoric Kingdom, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Um, I was working on Planet Coaster as well, but I really don't have enough knowledge of that game yet. So uh, during my summer break, I will uh, get back to that and make a lot of videos of that as well, making it spread out so we can actually finish our amusement park. And obviously, um, I think that like halfway through the summer we should be done with our red tail zoo and then we are going to start a new zoo but i also just bought the game the tenants uh, i saw it in my recommendations on steam and it looked really fun like a kind of a, a mellow edition of the sims so you know that could be fun so we are gonna branch out a little bit because i'm kind of afraid that i'm gonna get bored of planet zoo so maybe there are some games that you'd like to see Maybe they're uh, completely different games, like it doesn't have to be um, Planet Zoo related or the Planet Zoo type of games. I do play a lot of shooters as well and, uh, you know, Assassin's Creed, maybe some compilations of that. I do have one of those. Oh, I did a compilation on Overwatch every time I got headshotted. Oh my goodness, that was just... I saved so many clips, it was like a year of clips. And I saved all of them to make it into a video. It took me three hours to edit and the video is like, you know three minutes long so that's an hour per minute 
I totally respect those kind of content creators way more now because I also like, well, how difficult can it be? It just cut some out of a clip and then you put music under it. That's so darn difficult, honestly. Respect for the people who do stuff like that. Honestly, wow, respect. Oh yeah, I probably should get back to the build because you know, we're over the halfway point and I'm still rumbling on about my year of YouTube. But to be honest, it was quite a weird year, wasn't it? I mean, last year we started with this global pandemic stuff, which, you know, sucks. A lot of countries, including my own, are still in lockdown. Um, I feel like people became a lot more creative during the lockdown. And there are a lot more people that actually got into gaming and got into um, communities online. And I feel like that's a really positive thing. And I, you know, if I contributed to that, um, thank you for letting me do that. And I'd really much like to continue contribute to it. Um, you wouldn't say it, but I'm actually a rather positive person. I mean, you probably would say it, but I'm very realistic, but also very uh, positive. So, you know, I think that's one of my good qualities here. <laughs> and I just, I love making people happy. I feel like a doctor interview, like they will say, oh, why did you want to become a doctor? Oh, I wanted to help people. I feel like every content creator that I know at least is like, oh, why did you want to create content? You're like, oh, I wanted to make people happy. I wanted to be a community for people. And I'm just like, yeah, initially I wanted to uh, widen my skill of editing. And now I'm just like, yeah, you know, I wanted to, I want to make a community. I want to bring unity to people, you know, stuff like that. This sounds really, really mellow and whiny. Wow. <laughs> I'm just listening to myself and I'm just like, ooh, sounds a bit soft. That's nothing like me, to be honest. Anyway, I think I, I thank you guys enough. I've been thanking you guys for like the half, like for almost 15 minutes now. So thank you again, like from the really sincerely from the grounds of my heart. Thank you guys so, so much for this amazing year that I had on YouTube. I just I can't really believe that it's been a year and, you know, people are actually watching my content. <laughs> That's something I could only dream of, because I used to have like this, what do I want to say, nightmares, Mac? like these ideas of like, oh no, people are going to look at my YouTube channel and they're going to write mean things in my comments and then they're going to yell at me. That was like the idea that I had. Luckily, that didn't come true. Thank goodness. I think I had one or two negative reactions in like an entire year, so that's quite good, actually. I feel like um, that means I'm quite a good person or that negative people are just like, eh, she's not worth it. She's too positive. Ugh. Kind of think the last one. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so let's go back to the actual video because we are building in our red tail zoo. In this episode 18, we are building with the um, South Asia pack, which is the pack that came out two weeks ago. And I absolutely love the animals in there. We are building for the uh, Proboscis monkey. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I keep wanting to call him Proboscis monkey, but I feel like it's Proboscis. I'm not quite sure actually. I hope I didn't misspell it. And this is like uh, known for the nose monkey, you know, the monkey with the big nose. You probably saw it on the thumbnail. Or, you know, like I like to call it the Squidward monkey because he reminds me like Squidward. <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just probably just fu only funny to me. And if you never noticed that, now you did, and you know, you're welcome. Now you will always see this monkey as Squidward. And when you see Squidward, you will think of those monkeys. Hey, you know, learn something new every day. And we are making this uh, habitat across from the Red Panda and across from the uh, Lemur Islands. So it's quite a long um, stretch actually the lens it's quite long you have some viewpoints you don't really have viewing points all over we have a viewing point at the beginning a viewing point uh near the end by the bridge and i do feel like that's more than enough i feel like if i did more um it would kind of ruin the immersion of these animals and obviously we used a lot of elephant grass uh, along the water to make sure the monkeys can't get out because apparently these monkeys can jump far ridiculously like really ridiculous. First, what I wanted to do, I didn't want to have barriers. I wanted to have a natural barrier of water and they just jumped over that and escaped. So pro tip, you can't separate these habitats with water. 
um, except, you know, a ridiculously large body of water like I have on the other side. But otherwise, you probably can't. So, yeah. And here we are building something uh, creative, let's call it like that, because I really didn't know anymore what to place here. So, you know, I just placed some fun things, some pieces of wood from the Arctic pack, some uh, logs and then ropes in between so the monkeys can walk over there and they can climb from branch to branch. And I actually, I'm quite happy with the way that it turned out. Also, can you hear the winds in the background? I'm really sorry. I hope you don't, but if you do, um, sorry. Yeah, now we're putting some uh, vegetation down just to make sure that they, you know, have enough privacy. And I actually really enjoy the viewing points that you have here, you know, it's barrier, um, buried off with, not buried off, it is fenced off with glass. And it's, it's not one-way glass, it's two-way glass, so the monkeys can see you and you can see the monkeys because they're not shy, I think. I hope I read that correctly, otherwise um, I will probably replace that with one-sided glass. And now we're putting some enrichment items down, making sure that they have everything they need. In here we built this little uh, home where they can actually sleep. And we are going to put some bedding in the, you know, the ship, or I'm going to call it a ship, in the ship. Um, just to make sure that they actually go there, because otherwise I'm afraid that they will never go there. And uh, I think I've said it like a million times, but pro tip, put your enrichment items near the viewing points because the animals will use them, the people will stand there, and then you won't get complaints as a, oh, I can't even see the proboscis monkey from here. You'll be like, no, because I placed the enrichment items in front of the vents, the fence. Um, so they will always be able to see it. And they, the guests will be able to see the monkey, the monkeys will be able to see the guests. Not don't think the monkeys really care for that. But you know, Hi, and here we are fixing the terrain. Oh, this terrain work, man. It was a... I can't say that word on YouTube. It was annoying. <laughs> because um, just when I thought that I was done, I was like, wait, this is way too much long grass and here's way too much soil. It needs to be different. We need some sand and we need some more uh, dirt. It was really, really annoying. But in the end, I feel like, um, you know, I'm happy with it. I feel like the monkeys are happy with it as well. There you go fixing up the terrain. Um, usually I always show you guys how I place down the um, enrich no, not enrichment, the um, education things, but you know what, you saw it so many times already. I cut it out of this one just because, you know, you've seen me doing that. Um, if you play Planet Zoot, you know how to do that. Oh, I'm really proud of that waterfall, can I just say that? Wow. Anyways guys, uh, we are coming near the end of this video. So for now, I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to wish myself a happy anniversary with my YouTube. Ooh, happy anniversary, Nim, yay! And um, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, a comment and possibly subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you've done that, thank you very much and I will hope to see you on the next episode on Monday. Bye guys!